Hello everybody and welcome back to our discussion on logarithmic properties. In the previous videos, we discussed about the different logarithmic properties. And just before this video, I talk about how to expand logarithmic expression. So for this video, I am going to talk about how to, the, to do the other way around. And that is to condense logarithmic expression. So our topic for this video is condensing logarithmic expression. To begin with, let us answer the following problem. Write the logarithm of 5 in base 3 plus the logarithm of 8 in base 3 minus the logarithm of 2 in base 3 as a single logarithm. Okay, so to do this, we need to do it step by step muna, no? So first, we are going to combine these two expressions by using the product rule. The logarithm of 5 in base 3 plus the logarithm of 8 in base 3. Remember, the product rule states that... Okay. If we have a logarithm of mn in base b, that is equal to logarithm of m in base b plus the logarithm of n in base b. Okay, so we are given two expressions. And then we can combine the two expressions by just copying the logarithm in base b. And we multiply these two expressions together, m and n. Okay, so we will do that in our example. Okay, so the logarithm of 5 in base 3 plus the logarithm of 8 in base 3 can now be written as the logarithm. Okay, we just copy the base of the logarithm and we are going to multiply 5 and 8. Okay, that's what the product rule states. Okay, this is 5 times 8. Okay, so this is not touch, so we just copy as it is. So we have the logarithm in base 3 of 2. Okay, we can simplify this. The logarithm of in base 3 of 40, because 5 times 8 is 40, minus the logarithm uh, in base 3 of 2. Okay, and then we are going to employ, since this is minus right here, we are going to employ the quotient rule. Remember, the quotient rule states that if we have minus sign right here, okay, this minus sign, the logarithm of m in base b minus the logarithm of n in base b, we are going to use or we are going to get the quotient of m and n right there. m being the numerator and n the denominator. So we are going to employ that in our example right here. So this becomes the logarithm of a okay, logarithm in base 3 of 40 divided by 2. Okay, so this becomes the numerator. This becomes the denominator. Okay, so that is equal to the logarithm in base 3 of 20. Okay, that is our answer for this problem. Next, let us answer this problem. Condense the logarithm with base 2 of x squared plus 1 half. The logarithm with base 2 of x minus 1 minus 3 times the logarithm with base 2 of x plus 3 squared. Okay, so the first step in almost everything in condensing logarithm is to use the power rule if we have coefficients okay coefficients like one half or three right here okay so we are going to use the power rule okay the power rule states that if we have logarithm of m raised to n with base b we're just going to uh, put this exponent as a coefficient Okay, the same is true the other way around. Okay, if we have a coefficient right here, we can make it the exponent of m. Okay, so itong coefficient will be written doon as exponent of m. Alright, so we are going to do that in 
in this example. Okay, so we do not have any coefficient for the first term, so we just copy as it is for right now. Okay, so we have logarithm with base 2 of x squared. For the second one, since we have a coefficient of 1 half, this 1 half will become the exponent of x minus 1. Okay, so this now can be written as the logarithm with base 2 of x minus 1 raised to 1 half. Okay, the same is true for the next term. So this coefficient here will be will become the exponent but we have exponent already here right so we are going to multiply because the multiplication here okay it's like x plus 3 raised to 2 and then raised to 3 so we are going to multiply 3 and 2 right there so it becomes 1 i mean minus logarithm with base 2 of x plus 3 this now becomes raised to 6 okay Okay, remember, all expressions should have the same base, like here, base 2, base 2, and base 2, for them to be combined or to be condensed, okay? So we are going to employ the product rule and the quotient rule here. So all additions or all positive terms, just like this one and this one, will be in the numerator, and all terms with the minus sign will be in the denominator because of the product rule and the quotient rule, right? So, this x squared and x minus 1 raised to 1 half will be in the numerator and this x plus 3 raised to 6 will be in the denominator. So, let us try to write that as the logarithm with base 2 of x squared multiplied by x minus 1 raised to 1 half divided by x plus 3 raised to 6 okay so this is now a single logarithm equivalent to the given expression right here so this is a possible answer okay this is a good answer but we can also write this since we have an, a fractional exponent right there we can write it as a radical right so this becomes logarithm with base 2 of x squared uh, raised to 1 half is equivalent to square root Okay, so square root of x minus 1 divided by x plus 3 raised to 6. Okay, so that's it for this example. Our final answer is the logarithm with base 2 of x squared square root of x minus 1 over x plus 3 raised to 6.